Real audiovisual design requires math. And unless your name is Rain Man, you're probably going to need a scientific calculator to do some of the calculations. There's lots of different calculators out there. There are very simple calculators, and maybe you have one and you like it because it has big buttons. Maybe you've done some business math in the past, and you've got a really nice one that you used in school, and you know, you've favored that one. Or maybe you've needed a scientific calculator, and you had one of these. We all have our favorites. Let me introduce you to your new best friend. This is the TI-30XS. Why do I make a big deal about this? Because this is a virtual version of this is actually used on our certification exams. And my understanding is it's also uh, allowed on some of the, the college entrance exams here in the U.S. Thankfully, they're not expensive. I've seen them from about $14 to $17 U.S. Um, but you still don't want to get one, do you? Spend the $14 or $17 because you don't want to spend your exam time trying to get or trying to find the functions on an unfamiliar calculator. It's just not a good use of your time. So go ahead and get a TI-30XS and use this as you follow along in our other math videos. Let me show you one thing on here. Um, there's a couple of features that I like. There is a delete key. So you can, if you make a mistake, it's very easy to hit the delete key. There's also an answer key, the little function here, ANS, above the uh, negative sign here. And, and by the way, to get into any of the functions, just like many other calculators, you'll use a second key to get into these other functions. But let me turn this on. And there's one function that kind of gave me some trouble. Uh, when you do some of the loudspeaker spacing calculations, you're using the square root of 2. So you, and we're going to do a square root function here, which is right above the square key. So I'm going to hit second, square root, 2, and then enter. And it says the square root of 2. Well, that's a little frustrating. There's a couple of different ways to fix this. There's a scroll key here that you can use. And then, yeah, square root of 2, 1.41, you would expect that. The other thing you can do, and let me clear all this out, go into mode, and you can see here all the different settings. What you want to do is scroll down to classic and set it for classic mode. So I'm going to scroll down. You can see the classic is flashing. Hit enter. Clear all that out. And now, when I do something like the square root of 2, I'm getting 1.41 like I would expect. The other nice thing about the TI-30XS is it allows you to fill or put in the entire equation and then just hit the enter key. One of the examples that we did earlier, we did 7 squared plus, and I opened up a parenthesis, 7 plus 7, let's see, it was times 7 minus 7, close the parenthesis, divided by 7, so we broke it down step by step earlier. Now I've just entered the whole thing, including the parentheses, and it's going to follow PEMDAS. It's going to follow the math order of operations. I hit enter, and we calculated 56 earlier. There it is. I need to know where to put the parentheses and put them in order, and it'll do the rest of the work for me.